Tough Mudder has had over 130 events with 1.5 million participants globally. We're now operating in seven countries worldwide and this year alone we've got 60 events. So our participants are constantly asking us to make our courses and our challenges more difficult and our aim is to fulfil that challenge but to do so in a safe environment. Planning actively begins around six to nine months before an event. We have a team of engineers and safety professionals that review all drawings and all designs for new obstacles. We also go through a set of robust on-site testing sessions and make sure that any amount of risk is thought out before we actually put it on course. We define whether there are any hazards that are going to cause potential harm to an individual on site. Let's take water safety. We have divers, lifeguards and EMTs positioned at each water obstacle to ensure that we can either rescue and treat participants that are injured in the water. Most important thing to remember, especially my newbies, you can opt around any obstacle out there, no shame in that game. The important thing is you finish. It is one of the core messages Sean will give. If you don't like water or you're not comfortable in the water, do not go in our water obstacles. If you have metal in your body, if you have seizures, if you have heart issues, do not go through our electrical obstacles. There's opt-out lanes around every one of our obstacles. So as you approach that obstacle, there's an opt-out lane for you. Just take that lane right around the obstacle, continue on your path. Based on statistics from USA Triathlon and Johns Hopkins Medicine, we are 20 times safer than a triathlon and around 11 times safer than a marathon. We set ourselves up in a system that FEMA establishes across the country, which is known as the Incident Command System. And they include things from severe injury to inclement weather. And we share that with all of the local authorities, the Chief of Police, the Fire Department, the hospital itself, or any other authority that needs to be engaged. And we incorporate all their ideas into a emergency action plan. And we train that into the teams, should they need to enact it. The event alert system is a visual display system used around the course to inform participants and staff of current safety conditions around the site. Green flags mean full event, go ahead, all conditions safe. Yellow flag means potentially unsafe conditions on course in terms of cold or extremely hot weather. Red flag means we've identified that there is a risk on course and participants should either slow down or stop and listen to safety instructions from staff. Black flag means the course is closed and the site will be evacuated. We operate under an ISIS system, which is used by all emergency protocol groups in the United States. We've just adapted it to fit our event model. This allows us to efficiently be able to keep eyes and ears on all of our Tough Mudder staff and all of the people that are actually delivering this event. So if you're a participant and you are injured, participants around you will make an X, which signifies to our safety staff that there's an injured participant on the course. The nearest safety official, which should be positioned either at the previous obstacle or obstacle in front of you, and then we have a set of roving medical staff, will come find you and give you the appropriate assistance, depending on the severity of the injury. We have a fully staffed field emergency department here in the tent. We can literally stabilize and treat anything. We'll take a look at you, we evaluate you, decide what kind of treatment you need, get you the treatment you need, and then if you're good enough, we'll We'll tell you, get back out there and finish up your run. Now injuries are pretty rare in Tough Mudder. We only see about 2% of the participants end up in the medical tent. And sometimes it's just a minor scratch or bruise. It's honestly like all the volunteers and the staff that are here on site has just been incredible. It's the one thing that I walked away from and actually thought like, wow, that was really like well put together. It's not just Tough Mudder coming to these towns and putting on events. It's the community that invites us, it's the venue owner that hosts us, it's local police, local fire, local hospital. It's that group of individuals pulling together as one team to put on these events. Tough Mudder is making hundreds of thousands of people fitter and healthier, stronger. It's giving them a chance to connect with people in their community, to spend time with their friends, and we're very, very proud of that fact. From Berlin walls to fire in your hole, we make every effort to ensure that challenge is done in a safe environment.